Hello, this is Hamza again, and welcome back to Caves of Cod. So, I have, this time, even though there has been an update, I have made sure that I have stayed on the older version, and we can continue on with our game. So, we are once again playing our mutated human scholar. Uh, last time, we were um, planning on heading north towards the Barathromites. Um, so, let me just quickly get reacquainted. Yeah, we have a nice carbide uh, short sword, not long sword, and a short bow. Don't we have anything better for... Yes, we do have the desert rifle, which I am going to auto-equip. Also, um, yeah, last time we got some uh, re early history with psychometry. Yeah, we have gotten the psychometry mutation as well. And, you abide the memory of the Desert Rifle's creation, you learn to build a Desert Rifle. This means that now, from now, basically from now on, we can try to um, figure out how to build stuff. So, that means we can now build ourselves a Desert Rifle if we so desire. Which is going to be good, because we might need more of those. Plus, we could technically just sell them. You know, that's also a possibility. Uh, do I know any other... Uh, I have the stasis grenade thing. So we can learn that, so that means now we have the ability to also make stasis grenades. And this means that scrap is going to actually become a little bit more useful for us. So I'm thinking we should maybe at some point start figuring out the scavenger and um, disassemble skills. Because these are the main ways for us to get scrap. And scavenger is not necessarily as useful. It means when you walk through trash, you might find something. And you, of course, get scrap from robots. But disassemble allows us to disassemble... Well, that's also a little bit questionable because, you know, we can... Uh, disassemble scrap and artifacts for bits. So, yeah. Um, but this time, I'm actually going to just take stock of our food supply. We have some star apples. It's not necessarily great. Let's actually see if uh, if our friend here has anything for us to uh, buy. I don't think he does, though. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of nothing. Uh, we have some lead slugs so that we'll keep our uh, our desert rifle going for a little while longer, which reminds me we should reload that thing. Um, I guess I'm going to just harvest a little bit of uh, uh, vine wafer so that we can keep going a little bit longer. But yeah, at this point we are basically headed back towards the grid gate. And while we are traveling that way, we might might as well just, you know, stop by Sukish. Because why not? We didn't go and check out Red Rock. Uh, because we got the quest done without Red Rock. We could, of course, go back to Red Rock. And try to, you know, um, loot the place. My HP is a little bit low-ish, so I'm thinking maybe we should actually do that. What is my uh, food situation? Uh, no, not food situation. The water situation. We actually do have a. We have plenty of that. Plus, we do need to keep in mind that I am an amphibious creature, so I do need to actually uh, pour my water on myself from now, uh, from time to time, to you know make sure I don't just die. So, um, of course, that is automatic, but it still means I need to waste some of my my water for that. Um, let's go into the Red Rock. We might be able to, like, if nothing else, we might be able to butcher some of the creatures in here to make sure that we have a little bit of a food supply going before we head forward on our longer journey. Plus, we do need to level up a little bit. Okay, that's a bear. K. 
Okay. Um, there we go. The bear has died, and we have some bear meat to show for it, so that's fantastic. Let's just uh, stand here for a bit. I'm going to also like, just get some stuff from here, stuff that I can actually sell off. Because the water is going to be useful, if nothing else. Uh, also, we should maybe... I'm thinking, since there is nothing else to harvest here, let's just harvest some of the dreadroot. Because dreadroot is actually good. Unless they have changed it, which would be unfortunate. But um, it's it's survival. F it's it's basically survival food. Works just fine for that. Also, I should probably take my cursor away. I don't necessarily always notice the existence of the uh, the cursor, and in some games, in some games, the cursor matters more than in others. So I'm, I apologize if I sometimes leave it there when it's not necessary. Let's get the battle axe. Uh, another iron mace. I guess I'm going to keep carrying these. If they, if I start, you know, running out of space for them, then I will take care of it. Electrofuge corpse. Okay, was there anything else here that we might care about? Apart from the road downstairs. I guess I can... Uh, Still need some uh, couple of uh, turns to. There we go. To do another harvest. A lot of dread root here. Yeah, I think that about covers this level. Yeah. Let's just head down. Yeah, let's walk to the nearest staircase down. Cloth overalls. And that is a bug. Beetle bum. Oh, the red root is refusing to speak with me. How about I just take this long sword? That should do it. One, I think I've already mentioned this, but this game is amazing in that you can basically do most of the actions with just a single context-sensitive button, which is the space button, space bar. Um, but of course, sometimes the game is a little bit uncertain what you actually want to do. So, for example, there it's basically assume that I might want to pocket it best. Uh, do I have anything better equipped? Uh, body, I have leather armor. I'm guessing the pocketed vest would... Actually, I can check. Yeah, plus 5% carry capacity. That might be good, but I don't think I'm, like... My hit points are just not high enough for me to, like... Justify that. But yeah, it, it, it basically the game assumed that instead of picking up some items, snap your shotgunner hits. Okay, there's a shotgunner here. I'm gonna back away a little bit, and I'm going to surprise it if he tends to stumble upon this part of the. There we go. And he did not drop a shotgun. I have a weird art. Well, actually, I picked up a weird artifact which might count as the shotgun. Also I have a scaled wooden buckler and this is plus tw uh, 250 reputation with unshelled reptiles. Uh, let's actually check if this weird artifact is in fact the shotgun. Read history from psychometry. You flush with understanding of the artifacts past and determine it to be a pump shotgun. Can I actually figure out how to make it? This artifact is too complex for you to decipher its method of construction. Yeah, figured. Um, but that's a shotgun. So that means next time we head back to town, we can actually uh, get some shotgun shells for you. Because the shotgun last time we checked was amazing. So... Uh, there we go. 
But yeah, Psychometry is an amazing skill. I, I haven't really played that many uh, mutants in Caves of Cod because I have been like trying to learn the game and you know it's easier to start out as a uh, as a true kin. But obviously the game has so much more depth to it if you play a um, a mutant. Up oh, that's a seed spitting vine. Well, uh, it's at the end of a hallway, so I kind of don't want to go there. It's annoying when they place those things at the end of a hallway. Those things or turrets. Turrets are also a very, very deadly thing. Do we actually have the ability to... I don't remember if I picked it up. Yes, I did. Deploy turret is now an option for us as well. So if we happen to end up running into a situation where we are facing off against um, unfair odds, and we can even them to an extent by constructing a turret, and we can basically use any kind of a uh, ranged weapon to make that turret, so we can make it make it out of a bow. We can make it out of a desert rifle, and I don't think we need to supply any ammunition to it. So we're basically just free to uh, free to cr uh, construct as many of those as we, as long as we have some kind of a. Uh, that's a burnt capacitor. Um, these burnt things, like the capacitors and stuff, these are actually. Uh, these are the things that we can scrap for bits, basically. Right now we don't have any bits, so we cannot make anything in the tinkering menu. But if I had... Uh, the Desert Rifle requires scrap metal, scrap electronics, and a uh, flawless crystal. And the Stasis Grenade requires a scrap power system and scrap electronics. And I could make these out of these, basically. The microchip would probably yield us some electronics and the burn capacitor probably also something like that. And the crack lens might be a crystal. But we need to get the necessary skills for it, which... Let me actually see. I need 1290 XP for the next level, at which point I will be able to uh, get scavenge or disassemble. Disassemble probably a good, better idea, because we can, you know, just turn scrap into um, bits. Okay, uh, centipedes, let's just, oh, there are so many of them. Let's just keep an eye out for anything nasty. Let's avoid dying, because I don't want to die. We've, we've come so far, dying would be quite an unfortunate fate. Okay, uh, sap masks, I don't think any of that stuff is really worth it. Looking for like the higher tier stuff now. Uh, yeah, let's harvest. Since we are down here, we might as well just keep harvesting. Oh, there are so many sp seed spitting vines. It's amazing even. Okay, um, you are just a cave spider. I'm just going to quickly kill you for the experience. And then I'm going to heal up. Back to full health. We're not going to go into that seed spitting vine room. That's That sounds like... Uh, sounds like an unfortunate place to be. Also, let's reload the... Rifle, just in case there is something nasty down here. 
We're starting to reach the sort of lower levels of the red rock. So it's entirely possible that we might start running into nasty stuff. Iron Mace, I guess I'm going to pick that up. Uh, that's a seed spitting vine again. Okay, it's I, I sort of understand where it's coming from now, so it's fine. Just wait a little bit and then there we go. The sappy seed spitting vine, apparently somehow it got sappy. Okay, uh, if I had one of those nades, I would throw one in here. Yeah, let's just quickly kill these things before anything nasty happens. Okay, there we go. And I can harvest this Dreadroot Tuber. Steel Arrow, apparently. And you have an Iron Battle Axe. That's probably worth selling somewhere. Hand Axe, that's not so much. Okay, and that's Young Ivory. Let's just un avoid it as much as possible. Because I don't want to get stung by it. Okay, time for you... Okay, if you want to be like that, you can be like that. I'm just telling you, it's not going to be worth it. There we go. You're dead now. Um, I guess I could pick up some extra short bows. Let's see if I can still move. Nope, I cannot move. Um, we do need the torches. I'm not sure if we need 19 of them, though. Um, these are pretty heavy, so I guess I'm going to drop one. To keep myself moving, and then we can start dropping the iron maces. Let's just drop all of them. The maces are not going to be worth that much anyway. They are just f very basic weapons. That's a water skin though. That's something that I might find useful, particularly when I do some extra bartering. Okay, that's a freaking monster closet. In these kinds of situations, I really wish I had some nades. Luckily, we can, in the future, make them. How close are we to a level up? 630. That's fine. Okay, that is a Snapchat Brute. Let's just soften it up. Oh, never mind. That's uh, it's apparently a... That's enough to kill the whole brute. We are all These trash piles here are basically uh, what we can scavenge through. Small cobalt tube. Is that something that we can maybe identify? That's a love injector. Uh, which means that this is... Yeah, this is the... It, it's very self-explanatory. You fall in love with something. We also need to keep in mind that these days we do have some of these salve injectors. So if things go or start to go bad, we can do something about it. As in we can heal. Which might actually be relevant soon, because I am starting to take some damage here. But I am... actually... I can heal always. This heals me up faster than just sitting in place. Okay, is there any... Ooh, there's a jewel encrusted... Yeah, and of course it's it's a bronze mage. <laughs> it's a bronze maze of... Um, of value. I guess I'm going to take it, but I'm not sure if that actually, you know, makes up for the fact that it's a bronze item. 
it's always like valuable stuff that is not valuable at all. Uh, we're still hungry, so I'm guessing we have run out of food. Yes, we have. We only have Dreadroot tubers now. If I start getting really hungry, I'm going to... Actually, I just killed a whole bunch of things. I wonder if a centipede would be tasty. Okay, well, apparently it was. Very tasty. Tasty centipedes. Red Rock level 4. And we do have a Gershling here. And it's refusing to take damage. So this is where we would have found our uh, Gershling. Uh, I'm taking bleeding damage. Let's just apply a, um, a bandage. Because I don't want to die from... Uh, oh, it's a fractured microchip, that's a steel arrow and this is a shotgun shell. And lead slugs. Okay, so good stuff. We are actually getting some ammo back from the, all of this. And we need to get rid of that jilted lover. And I am bleeding again. Okay, something is definitely still shooting at me. It's a seed spitting vine all the way at the end of the hallway. Let's head this way. Uh, still arrow, shotgun shell. I mean, at least there's a little bit of extra food and also ammo here. Cave spider, go away. And why exactly are we not picking this stuff up? There's nothing to... T oh, no. Well, apparently now there is nothing to take. I do want these shotgun shells and lead slugs and things of that nature. Another Gershling. Also, because there are Gershlings, there are also quite possibly those lunatics that worship these things. I wonder if Gershling is any good. <laughs> I'm basically wondering about eating absolutely anything and everything. Okay, you... Since you are scaring me, I'm just going to very quickly take care of you. Okay, yeah, that, that's one of those glow whites. And it's dead. Uh, I don't think I care. Oh, nope, I don't want to carry the glow white. No. Nope. Don't, don't want, don't want, but I can look at it. Let's radiate a low heat, oh good. And the seat spinning line. We may want to turn back soon because this is like above the level. And okay, that's a large boulder and a jilted lover. This, yeah, this might be above the level where I don't necessarily uh, want to go deeper. I would love to level up and also pick up all of these pieces of ammo and things like that because I'm always quite possibly, particularly with the shotgun shells, going to be something that um, we need to fight for a little bit. Extra Gershlings. Okay, please, Gershling, die. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, let's just heal here. Because I just that that Gershling hit pretty hard. Okay, uh, can I actually now pick up another skill? Yes, I can. And uh, at this point, considering we do have a couple of. Um, a couple of things that we can actually make. I'm going to pick up disassembly or disassemble. 
because that means we can start disassembling all of these things. So that's a scrap power system, for example, and gives this gives me a crystal. And then we have a whole bunch of these uh, fractured microchips. You just need to be careful not to disassemble stuff that we actually want to keep. So with all of that stuff that we disassembled, we are now able to make stasis grenades. Sadly, we could only make one of them, but that's still better than nothing. Um, let's actually equip the stasis grenade as a um, as a thrown weapon. I wonder. I I can't really remember. It's been a while since I last used a thrown weapon like grenade. Ah, frick! I'm bleeding. That young ivory. Okay, heal is going to uh, have to wait a little bit longer. I guess I'm going to just sit tight and wait. There we go. Another seed spitting vine. Also... We need to make sure that that jilted lover doesn't grab me while I'm fighting this seed spitting vine. Okay, and I saw a Gershling. There it is. And it's dead now. How many shotgun shells do I have? Eight. That that's not that's not really all that many. But it, considering how we intend to use something like a shotgun, it's not necessarily that bad. But yeah, I think at this point the safe option is to just climb up. Uh, yes, I would like up. Uh, apparently, my character is freaking out because of a jilted lover, which cannot move at all. And again, it, it like comes as a as an enemy, and that's why my character is like stopping all the time. Okay. What if any of these other guys may want to trade some stuff? You have a lot of wine wafer. A lot of wine wafer. Can I like buy all of this? Six drams for 204 wafers of wine. I mean, that should keep me going for a while. Um, as for you. You have some weird artifacts. Let's sell off my stuff that I don't want to keep. Um, and then I will consider your offerings. Apparently the because this is jewel encrusted, it is actually worth something. And the freezing iron maze is obviously going to also be worth something because it is a special item with which has a special feature. And I don't think there's anything else that I really want to sell off. I want to keep the short bows and I want to keep the pump shotgun. So is there anything that I might want to buy from you? That is worth my time. I, mean, I could buy one of the, um, the weird artifacts. I'm not sure what the small box is. It's cheaper though. Alternatively, I could buy one of the two weird artifacts, which could be like grenades. Yes, I'm going to buy one of these. I 
and let's check it out because now I have a way of checking it out without breaking it. It's a telescopic monocle. Okay, I can just wear it, I guess. Let's let's see. Uh, so that goes into uh, onto my face, and only elongates and magnifying monocle. It has a fitted leather uh, head strap. Uh, okay, so it's just a monocle. I mean, it works. I'm a I'm a human scholar, so having a nice monocle. As a magnifying thingy, might be good. Does that actually help with anything? It may have been a misplaced purchase. Because it doesn't seem like it has an active component to it. I mean, I can... I can break it... I actually cannot even break it down. Well, I guess I'm going to wear it, but that I'm not very happy about that. You know what, I'm going to buy the small box, and you can have the sap mask. I have, I have money to spend, so I might as well. And that's a box of crayons. Very nice. Um, so I can draw with these. What do you want to draw? My face. On, you draw a pretty picture. Okay. So, uh, did I draw my face onto Tam? I may have. I'm going to just straight up sell that back. Yeah, you can you can have that. Okay, our <laughs> Tam is really like he's on a scamming mood today. I'm going to head north now. I'm just going to have to keep you're lost. Oh, I, I understand why though. We do need a torch. But if we keep heading south, we should be able to make it back to more civilized areas aka Yopa which is one of the only civil civil uh, civilized areas around here there we go let's just keep walking north and let's let's see what is in Sukish and yes I do want to go to Sukish jeweler home there might be valuables here you have finished the step travel to historical side of Sukish Jeweler Holm. And we have some experience for that. We still have plenty of wine wafer to continue our travels. Okay, someone is trying to throw some nades. I think that was a... Uh... Okay, what are you? Apple farmer and the member of, a, of the Bane of Sukish Church. Oh. I'm just going to... Oh! You're, you're throwing stuff at me. I don't really... Okay, apparently that's poison. I don't like that at all. Please die. There we go. He's dead. Okay, let's let that wear off. And let's heal up, and then we can figure out what is in there. Bags. Okay, star apples, copper nuggets, and cider. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know what a water skin is. I would be interested more in what is... Okay, um... That's a drill bot. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, I have a droid scrambler. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't care. 
it doesn't give up damn about my scrambler. Okay, we we are going to need another torch to um Okay, um let's fight it. I have let's just be very careful about it. It's a tough bot or a drill bot that is a tough enemy. But I have some salve injectors. And it, it is just dead. Good. Bird jerky, star apples, all of this stuff is good. Beaded bracelet, also good stuff. And cider. I can at least sell it if nothing else. Okay. So let's just wait and heal up. Apparently the Garboid short sword does a good job against robots, because that's what we used. Okay, um bunch of leeches. Luckily these guys are not that tough. Okay, um Let's just be very careful here, because if there's one bot, then there are more bots. It's usually how it goes. If you can find one of some sort of an enemy, then there are quite possibly more than one. Uh, becoming Nook. Uh, can I use that? You are no aristocrat. Goodbye. Okay. And you are... It's a career rifler and member of Bane of Sukish and a pig. And that is a statue of implanted eater. Okay, you guys need to die. Okay, you know what? You know what? You guys come over here and I'm going to throw a stasis grenade at you. Uh, however, first I need to actually figure out how. I Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's T. T for thrown. Okay, let's see if I can shoot you with my rifle as your stasis. Apparently I'm having some trouble shooting at you with my rifle. There we go. Okay, hopefully... Yeah, you had a desert rifle. I can scrap that. And that's a Regular pig. Is that a hostile? It is. It's a glow crow. Hey, come over here and I will shoot you down. Okay, fine. If you don't want to come here, then I will come over there. Okay, let's go check out what is... Okay, that it's it's apparently nothing. Apparently that statue does not matter. And this just leads outside. Okay. And oh, there's a weird artifact here. Let's see what it is. Implant skill soft backswing. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, that's maybe an implant machine of some sort. Oh, I'm carrying apparently too much stuff. Okay, what do I want to drop? I want to keep the desert rifle that I... Actually, do I want to keep it? Do I want to just scrap one of these? 
Let's just disassemble one of these. I mean, we're going to get some stuff out of that. Let's just not disassemble both. Because then we would have to rebuild one. But no, I'm... The only thing I'm missing is scrap metal and I could make another one of the desert rifles. The desert rifle would have made for a nice... Uh, turret too. Also, since there's a rifler here... Let's just deploy a turret. Apparently, uh, oh, we have no more ammo for the desert rifle. Oh, that's actually nasty. Okay, well, uh, these guys have some. A couple of lead slugs. Okay, what is this artifact here? Stun grenade, okay. What is so heavy? I I mean, I have plenty of star apples. Yes, that could be a problem. Um, the buckler that I forgot to sell, that can go. I guess the short bow can go. That keeps us within capacity. Uh, uh, until it doesn't. Which is like now. Apparently, only compatible with true kin genotypes, so this is... I mean, I could sell it. It's probably worth a lot, considering what it is. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to just disassemble another one of these. Keep going. Uh, what is that? That's a shoot grab. Luckily, it's a very, very small thing that is not very difficult. Okay, uh, you're av. Uh, okay, yeah, you're neutral. That's just good. I don't want to fight one of those guys. Okay, um. Let me just take some cover and kill you with the sword. Okay, and once again, cannot move. Uh, is there anything that I... Can I just eat one of these? Yes, I can, but that doesn't take care of the problem. And I kind of need the, tur uh, the torches still. Um, the implant doesn't weigh anything. I guess I'm going to keep disassembling these until I, I don't know, get out of here. Or find something better. And that's just nothing. Okay, uh, let's check what is in the middle. Oh, apparently nothing, at least from here. Oh. Another rifler. And that means we're <laughs> over the capacity again. Mm. This is getting a little bit annoying. But at least I will have plenty of bits for various crafting adventures. In fact, I can even craft new desert rifles now. Sadly, the rifles don't have power systems, so they cannot be made to... Uh... Yeah, I cannot get power systems out of them, so yeah, cannot make grenades out of them. Makes perfect sense, don't get me wrong, but it's just a shame. Um, apple farmer's daughter? You fall in love with the apple farmer's daughter and the member- what? How? Why? It's a hostile. I didn't, I didn't accidentally, no, I didn't take a love injector or anything. Well, whatever that was, it's over now. I have so many star apples. Um, I'm going to have to scrap another one of these, I'm guessing. I'm going to have to get rid of 20 points of, I guess I'm going to have to drop like, 10 torches, 
and scrap one of the desert rifles again. 